Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm continuing to feel your energy. I feel like you're definitely very, very focused on your peace. You know, make sure you're limiting yourself and moving away from people, places, and things that don't make you feel happy. You know, just things that don't resonate with you in general, right? However that shows up, right? Um, I think this, this is definitely part of your self-love journey, your healing journey. However this shows up for you, it's like you're like really looking inside to figure out what you want, right? What resonates with you and what doesn't resonate with you. Um, you might be doing some meditation to kind of, you know, figure that out and just kind of just really stay centered on you at this time. But of course, when you focus on you, somebody else is focused on you too. <laughs> and here we go. The energy that's coming out is the eight of cups in the inverse. This is somebody who's, you know, stuck having some delays, but they don't want to take responsibility for something that they're doing. Um, I'm already getting downloads already about whoever this person is. This eight of cups in the inverse is somebody who doesn't take responsibility of one, how they make you feel because this is eight of cups in the inverse. So this is somebody who does not really care about how you feel about something right in the inverse in their cups, honestly, because they don't really, um, you know, they're not really in touch with their emotions as much as you is what I'm getting in my downloads, right? That's why they switch to the full and the inverse energy. Whatever they do, it's risky, it's reckless, it's foolish, um, very rigid in how they approach the situation. I'm getting also very heavy naivete, right? Maybe they're naive about the new you. Maybe they're naive, uh, maybe they don't know necessarily where you're at spiritually, um, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, I'm getting a heavy, like a lot of naive. Heavy on that being, you know, not taking responsibility for emotions of how they make other people feel. Right. And so, and air, air they go moving into the Knight of Swords energy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Here go the reckless behavior right here. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? This Knight of Swords is some type of quick, confident word. So they would communicate it to you. Right. This is some type of sudden change. This is definitely somebody like came across like, you know, they knew what they were talking about. But again, they're in the inverse in their emotions. So, you know, you know kind of denying their emotions. But I really don't think that they're being conscientious and really appreciate where you are in your emotions right now. That's that's part of the, what they're naive about, right? So this Knight of Swords energy, this would have been something quick that they would have said to you that came out of the blue, you didn't expect it, but it's here, here you are, over here protecting your peace, not a pinnacles, right? This is you being single, self-sufficient, independent, getting success in your healing journey. You know, I think right now you just wanna be by yourself, right? And that's why I was saying, I was getting that energy on my last reading, it's just like, you know, you're kind of being selfish with your own energy, not saying that you're a selfish person just in general. I don't feel that. I feel that you're being very much aware of where you put your time, talents, and treasures these days, right? Because a lot of people want to take advantage of it, right? And I think you're finally seeing that. So I think you're really standing strong on this Nine of Pentacles energy, you know, being single and independent on your own, especially um, while you're caring for your emotions, right? Because everybody else out here is not being conscientious about your emotions, right? And this is a confirmation of what I'm saying. This Eight of Swords energy is exactly what I'm talking about right here. This is falling out right underneath each other. Y'all, this Eight of Swords is somebody who's definitely, this is like limited thinking. This is also them being insecure, right? So some type of insecurity is playing out with somebody. Place the energy wherever it resonates with whomever this person is. Friend, family member, you know, the ex, the karmic attached to the ex, the boss, the coworker trying to be your boss or somebody you just met. Somebody, I am picking up on family ties. You guys, I'm picking up on family situations, friends, somebody feels some type of way and it's like they came to you like really quick out of the blue but it, because it's how they feel right this eight of swords energy is them being like trapped in their own limiting their own limiting beliefs about something how they think about something is how they think about something and that's just it right like i said really not being conscientious about other people's feelings and emotions and here's a confirmation they're in devil energy y'all oh, whoever this person is they went straight to their addictions their temptations their seductions you know, this could be any type of addiction. This could be somebody under the influence of something. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is also the energy of manipulation, um, you know, some type of deception, right? So anything that the devil offers. But I feel like it's it's like a cover-up. I feel like this person is like covering up for their, for their insecurity, right? This is coming out right next to the Eight of Swords energy. I'm telling you, this person is trying to cover up for something. Like I said, this Eight of Cups in the inverse is very telling about their energy, right? not taking responsibility for their emotions. So they're definitely not taking responsibility for yours. So how they do it, 
they are very reckless in their own energy and they move in devil energy, right? You know, anything, you know, temptations. I do feel like it's a temptation with this uh, coming out with the seven of swords energy. Here's a temptation right here to lie, cheat, and steal. Somebody has a deep insecurity about you and it's especially how you're showing up right now. You being single and by yourself and doing your own thing and living your own peace is intimidating for someone. So it's like an insecurity that they need to cover up by lying. Y'all, come on. Oh my God, this energy is right here. Somebody feels some type of way, and this is a confirmation of what I'm saying in the energy. They feel the hermit in the inverse. They feel rejected. They feel isolated and lonely about you. And it has nothing to do with them. Y'all, I don't feel like this has anything, you know, to, you know, to, to stop them from living their life. I'm just like, if this is the sex, you're just like, go your way, I'm going mine but somebody feels like they gotta come in your space, right? So when they, when you don't allow them in your space, right? This is, you know, hey, I'm doing my own thing. Let me do me. I, you know, I'm, I'm not a part of whatever you got going on. However, this shows up, you know what I'm saying? They immediately uh, start lying about their insecurity. <laughs> Y'all, somebody is, has a deep insecurity, uh, especially about you right now. And they do feel isolated by you, right? But I feel like you pick up on this. This would have been, this not a sword energy. You would have picked up on this, right? But I, th I think one, I think, you know, this, whoever this person is, this could have even been your family member. Like I said, you know, somebody feels like, Hey, I, I want you to do something, something, this sword energy is communication. So they would have talked to you about something, however it showed up, you know, can come hang out with me today. You know, can, can we do this? Right. Can we, you know, get together? Let, let's do the family barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Like however it showed up, right. They feel isolated by you because you're standing in your peace. And your piece has everything to do with you because I don't think you're focused on anybody else. I don't think this is to spite anyone. This is to love yourself. You see what I'm saying, Collective? So I think, you know, that self-love journey is what's a part of what's going to shut uh, this uh, down here. This Five of Wands energy, there's some type of conflict, you know, rivalry, competition, right? This is getting shut down. This Five of Wands coming out right next to the Four of Wands in the inverse. This is the second time this has come out this week. Somebody who's got some type of conflict or trying to present some type of conflict to you, it's getting shut down, right? And it's getting shut down because you're Queen of Cups energy. You're being very, very empathic. One, I think you would have picked up on this. This would have been like, since you're really focused on your self-love and, you know, kind of loving and healing yourself, you're not, in, not letting anybody in your bubble, right? <laughs> you're just like, nope, you're not invited. You cannot come in my bubble, right? So one, this King uh, Queen of Cups energy, I feel like when somebody tries to come in your bubble, you're just like, mm -mm -mm. your empathic abilities, you're being sensitive and emotional, you would have picked up on this. So it would have been like uh, alarm bells going off for you, right? Collective empaths out there. You would have been like, no, somebody's trying to invade my space. Somebody's trying to invade my energy. No, no, no. I'm not going to allow it. You would have picked up on this, right? Queen of Cups, um, your your empathy in, in the situation. I do feel that there is some type of empathy going on. Whoever this person is, I think you understand them. And I think you understand why they feel some type of way about this Herman and the inverse energy. I think you understand why they feel rejected by you. You know, whether you whether you agree with them or not about why they're rejected, hey, that's a different story. But at the same time, I think you get it, right? Very heavy on the empathy. I'm getting this from you. You understand that they carry the hangman and the inverse energy. They're being very stubborn, being very selfish. And uh, one of the things about, you know, empaths out there, it's just like you can pick up on somebody's intentions just quick. You know what I'm saying? You probably already picked up on the fact that they're covering up with some type of insecurity by lying that they don't feel isolated by you. You would have already picked that up. <laughs> Queen of Cups, right? Dealing with somebody who has the four pinnacles in the inverse. This is a person who just has this like fear of loss. It's like, I got to, whatever I'm doing or whatever I'm saying, whatever I'm telling you to be a part of, that's just the way it is, right? This is somebody who just won. They cannot, it's like they can't lose. It's like whatever they say is law to them, right? That's that eight of swords energy. It's them being stuck in their own self-limiting beliefs about how they think about things against sword energy. This is also somebody who might be financially careless with this pinnacle energy, right? But most of all, they don't want to lose something. They don't want to lose a connection. They don't want to lose something because they obviously feel some type of way by you being by yourself. But why you are by yourself it is for you. It's to love you, to appreciate you and get your peace. And a lot of times people don't really get that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not always about somebody else. Maybe it is. Maybe this is the person that's been coming against you. Maybe it is that ex who just doesn't get it. And you're just like, I'm over here by myself. 
and it is for me about me and it's going to be about me so it, it intimidates somebody obviously it triggers somebody you know what i'm saying they don't want to lose something they don't want to lose something that has to do with this ten of pentacles some type of, of stability and foundation something something that you built something uh, or uh, built with with someone maybe this is that friend you know a long time friend your, your friend trying to get you to hang out for the weekend um I, hey i'm good i'm standing this weekend you know <laughs> i'm saying that offends somebody and that's how you know that the relationships are not equal something is one-sided in this situation if somebody's got to pressure you to go hang out honey you're not thinking about me you're only thinking about you and what you want to do come on collective sometimes you got to take a stand to be by yourself in your situation and i said this on my last situation it's not like you're a selfish person i just think that people take advantage of your your kind compassionate supportive nurturing energy because that's where they know they can go to get it come on y'all you know but this ten of pentacles energy is something that somebody wanted to get some type of stability some type of foundation this does carry the energy of inheritance and family ties so this very well could be a family member right somebody in the family wanted you to come out to the family cookout because you're always at the family cookout well maybe you don't feel like going to the family cookout this uh, this time because you feel like being by yourself you know what i'm saying somebody feels some type of way about it you know what i'm saying confirmation right here death in the reverse is here <laughs> y'all a lot of people don't understand that protecting your peace has more to do with you to, more to do with you than them truthfully truthfully death in the inverse is somebody who's resisting the new they don't want to change they don't want to transform they're living in the past you know, they, they're, they stayed there. Maybe this person, maybe this family member, you know, does not understand and acknowledge who you are as the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, you're coming out here just like, this is me, this is who I am. I am woman, hear me roar, you know what I'm saying? But it's like somebody doesn't see that part of you yet. Or maybe they don't, maybe they just don't want to, right? They're not ready. That the inverse energy is here. They're not ready to see it. Confirm with this Two of Cups. This is any type of partnership, relationship, friend, family, you know, business partnership, you know, like I said, it, it can resonate in a lot of different situations. Somebody's not ready to see the new you. Somebody is not ready for you, right? And you being in this new period of your life where you're healing, you're focused on you, a lot of people are going to have to take time to sit with that. Maybe they'll resonate with you, maybe they won't. You know, when you're on the spiritual journey of yours, a lot of people are going to fall away from you that don't resonate with you. And that sometimes might just be family. And that just is what it is, you know, but whoever it is, even if it is family, you know, with this Ten of Pentacles energy, like right, the family ties, whoever has a problem with the the way that you're protecting your peace and, you know, just loving you and being by yourself, whoever is insecure about it, that's something that they need to heal. It's kind of like you inadvertently expose somebody's insecurities just by doing you all by yourself. Y'all, that happens more times than you think in these Two of Cups partnership situations, right? Because they do carry the Two of, uh, two of, Pen oh, not two of Pentacles, Two of Swords energy right this is them being in a stalemate of denial about you it's like they have to choose the old you or the new you well guess who they chose the old you and the old you ain't there no more <laughs> what is that um the 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 love the love that they thought that, that they had or partnership or friendship or family relationship they ain't there no more you're somebody new you're a queen of cups energy right now you are just definitely choosing the situations, people, places, and things that resonate with you. And if, you know, that family barbecue, that family uh, dinner is just not it, it just ain't it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like somebody had to choose the new version of you, but they wanted the old version of you because they didn't want something to end, right? This high priestess and the inverse person. This person, I think that you're going to see with your Queen of Cups energy, this person is not trustworthy. You know, their secrets are revealed, but they don't follow their intuition. And that's exactly what I was feeling in that Eight of Cups in the inverse energy if they don't follow their intuition about you that knight of swords energy was very very telling you're off over here by yourself doing you not bothering nobody and here they come <laughs> nobody asks for you you know when you're focused on you it's kind of like that energy kind of leaves the room and a lot of people miss it but they're missing it for the wrong reason they're being very very stubborn hangman in the inverse energy being very very stubborn with your energy and how you show up they're only focused on how they show up you know what i'm saying very naive very reckless very childish so respecting how you show up to the world is something that they need to figure out this person did not uh follow their intuition their secrets are revealed but i think you're going to pick up on this well i know you picked up on it because this would have been like alarm bells coming off about your energy especially since you're hyper focused on protecting your peace right now you're going to go into this uh seven of wands energy you're going to stand up for yourself and defend yourself against this person who didn't follow their intuition about you regarding some type of teamwork partnership with this three, three of pentacles it's somebody that you're in some type of friendship relationship with right currently right 
somebody feels like they're entitled to your time. No, they're not. They are absolutely not. They're entitled to whatever you allow them entitlement to. And again, going back to what I was saying on my previous reading, you know, the people go to you because they know you have that loving, nurturing, uh, you know, capacity to you. That's why they gravitate to you. But why? Especially, you know, think about that, you know, where people don't reciprocate that energy back to you. So it's like you're giving, 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 but what are you giving back? But as soon as you start taking a stand for yourself, seven of one energy about people you're in teamwork and partnerships with, they feel some type of way, but that's something that they have to work through, right? But I think you're going to, you know, shut this down with this King of Swords. King of Swords is coming out here. This is the energy of being very intelligent about the situation, honest, fair, analytical, and accurate. One, you're going to speak to that person. So you got uh, Knight of Swords coming out um, with the uh, King of Swords. You're kind of one-upping them in the situation and being like, look, I'm standing up, you know, for myself in this situation. Something about being honest and fair, right? I don't necessarily think that you want to, you know, just be all negative because I don't think your energy is negative at all at this time, right? You're being very honest and fair about how you're explaining to them. No, I want to be by myself. No, I don't want to go out with you. No, I don't want to do such and such and such. No, I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to do that. It's all about you protecting your peace. Something about being honest and fair with this King of Swords energy, right? You standing up for yourself. And our last clarifier is the chariot is giving you this energy. Um, this is this the energy that come out um, earlier today as well. Moving forward and overcoming obstacles, right? Protecting your peace, however it shows up. I don't care if it is that friend, that family member that wants access to you. The only access they have or they think they have is access to the old you. That new you is not allowing people to kind of take advantage of your energy. I think you're learning those lessons about how to protect your energy and only move in spaces where your energy is reciprocated. And that's where this King of Swords energy is coming from. So you just speak on it, right? To communicate that. People don't know unless you tell them, right? So if you don't tell them, they're only going to think that, all right, we can just keep doing such and such and such to you, right? You're speaking out on it and you're moving forward. I love this. Let's get a profit card so we can get some advice for our collective. Card 31. In the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning. All right, let's see what this says. For what is your friend that you should seek him with hours to kill? Seek him always with hours to live. For it is to fill your need, but not your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the do of little things, the heart finds its morning and it is refreshed. Yep. So this might be somebody who's like a friend who's just like, yo, um, you know, I see you over here doing your, your little thing. I mean, I got some time to kill. Let's go hang out. But you're in that protective mode for a reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe they should have cultivated that relationship when you were trying to cultivate relationships. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Let's get a mystical oracle and we'll wrap up. Card 13, the morning dew girl. What's about the dews here? Something about the dew, the dew of the morning. It's a new day, apparently. The woman on this card collects fat raindrops into a basket of leaves. She is called Morning Dew Girl, and she symbolizes the receiving and absorption of all worries and fears. She invites us to start sharing our own feelings and worries. We can collect them and deal with them instead of hiding them deep inside. She stands resolute and strong, ready to face her fears. While fear can be as powerful as a river, once confronted, it may turn out to be as small as a drop of dew. Yeah, literally. Come on, y'all. Literally, the morning dew girl is over here with this King of Swords energy. You're confronting this. I don't think you're fearful of the situation. I think this person is fearful of your energy about how powerful and independent and, you know, you dedicate it to your self-love and your peace is. But whatever it is, be moving with this shared energy and moving forward with confidence, being courageous and overcoming these obstacles. I love this. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.